Okay, I have my fabric um, and my cutaway s stabilizer behind it. Ready? I wanted to show you. Inside the hoop is five inches. You're only going to use four inches of that space. My fabric is cut to seven and a half inches. Because it comes so but so close up to this this edge right here, you don't need as much fabric for the endless hoop as compared to the four inch hoop or the larger hoop. Um, so you only need about a, um, two and a half inches more on your fabric than than the inside dimensions of your hoop size, I mean five inches, so two and a half inches over for this hoop. You need four inches over for all the others. So anyway, let's get started. I'm coming to the top of my fabric and I'm going to place the top inside this. Use your lever to hold it up. You want to make sure that you get your fabric. It's got caught on the inside there. You want to get it to line up with this bar here on the edge of your fabric. You may need to make sure you have a straight edge on this side of your fabric. I'm going to pull it up a little bit so I can get it up underneath this. Just like that. So, let me uh, make sure. Just making sure. Now you push it toward the right side. You want to make sure it's all the way down. So when I get in the sewing room, I'm going to uh, grab me some painter's tape and I'm going to um, put some tape on my hoop <coughs> to help keep that fabric in place. This is your left, your right, up and down. After you've stopped, you want to just press any one of these buttons and it'll take it back to its original position. Take your head back, the needle, back to its original position and I'm going to zoom in on that because that's where you're going to want to 
focus right now. So we're going to... I guess you're going to take your lever. You're going to pull it up and release, release your top hoop. And you're going to pull... You just pull your fabric till you get, you see where the bottom L is? It's not very clear. Let me, oh, let's see that bottom L. You can see it better over here. This one didn't make a full L, but I see where the, it started, so that's fine. I'm just going to put it in that position. Now, I'm, you want to also make sure that, remember what we said, this needs to be all the way down against your fabric edge needs to be against this little bar. And you want to make sure it's tucked up underneath the hole properly, underneath your little cams there. You want to make sure in, in the top and down here that your fabric is not crinkled or whatever and that's where it's supposed to go and we're going to right now lock it in place it's not long you see that one wrinkled up a little bit on me right there so I'm going to lace it again you can lift it up again to help make sure you're in the right place okay now, I'm going to and see where my needle's going in. I'm off. I'm off a tiny bit. So, also, you're going to want to just put it down and get an idea. And the, since the camera is in my direct line of vision but I need to go over maybe to the right one click and to the back two that's my guess oh was it not down oh yeah I had to have my needle all the way up one and up two so let's see how am I at? nope it's got to be perfect. Oh wow, very close. So you pull your needle all the way up. Two more. Let me get a better view of that. It looks like it's right on it. May I pull my thread that's worked out? Alright. going to clip I clipped my um, jump from here to here and I've done that before and I I think that's why I lost the definition of my L so I'm not going to do that this time I'm leaving it I'll deal with it after the design's done so oh I bumped it it wasn't in the right Anyway, so as you can see, I got it in the right place. When you tape your design down, you'll find that, and make sure it's down, you'll find that your, um, your pattern, your design will come out 
better. At least that's been my experience. I wanted to show you real quick. If you have to, just in case you don't know, if you have to do a backup, like, you know, but you've got more than a couple of stitches or whatever, hold it down. You heard that? Did you hear that? It was a little beep. That means it'll continue to back up until it gets back to the beginning. Just for your information. Okay, I have finished this row. And as you can see, that's the last of it. I've cleaned it up, front and back. And I have cut, uh, t uh, cut away the uh, stabilizer. This is cut away stabilizer. So it's strong and it gives the stitches stability. And they're about a quarter inch on each side. So now you know the basics of how to do a design designs on your endless hoop. And if you thought that was all there is to know about the endless hoop, you're wrong. So let's continue our endless hoop journey.
he heard his name singing, and fun. Sometimes the beauty of his beauty.